welcome to Daily Advice with Belle. Today's advice is for the 2nd of March. Today's advice is, are you a bad partner? How do you tell that you're a bad partner? One very common and annoying behaviour is the tendency to jump ship. It often arises from the thinking that it is okay for you to abandon ship anytime. This applies to both business and in marriage. If you're coming in with the exit firmly in your sight, then it probably is going to be rough sailing, especially if you're talking about marriage. Partnerships are made up of partners, not deserters. Definitely not blamers. Partners. It is not to say that you will stick with each other through hail and storm and, and Armageddon. I'm not saying that. There are some situations in which you may have to let things go. But barring all of that, it is healthier to come in with clear objectives of success. You may be a bad partner if from the beginning till end, a large percentage of the time, you're taking, 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 taking and not really giving back into the equation. If that's what you're going to do, then you'd better be like Tex, which is to come in and help the situation when the going gets tough. And honestly, you can help one way or another. If you can't help in this way, then help in the other. You may be a bad partner if you are blame-slinging. It is so easy to blame when things go wrong. And it's so easy to maintain innocence, like a helpless lamb somehow being caught amongst these people. This is a common one, and it happens to a lot of us who haven't learned to fight well, myself included. So, unless you can start to resolve the issue, it is often better to keep your peace. By the way, another name for blame slinging is mud slinging. Please avoid this. Moral high horsemen are definitely, definitely, definitely bad partners. You know the type. They often hit you with a big idea without actually struggling to walk the talk. Everybody is definitely on the way to a better person. But if your teammates are going to get clobbered with ideals, then you may be dealing with quite a difficult partner. If you have partners like this, please comment below and I will pray for you, okay? I will pray for you. I hope that they receive some grace and that they know that people do make mistakes and also do brilliantly well. We definitely have our good days and bad ones. Even bad months, bad weeks, bad years even. Maybe they will get off their moral high horse after a few weeks? If your partner is bad at managing money, mm, it might be tricky because a lot of things need money. Of course, if you're able to steward your portion of the pie and grow it, you're probably a pretty good partner. However, if holding on to money and making money isn't your strong suit, you may want to start talking to your friends who somehow, somehow manage to grow their money. The last one of this video that you might be dealing with a bad partner is that they cheat. For business, the person cheating is the person embezzling the earnings of the company. In relationships, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you find yourself wavering and being tempted, talk to your partner, your partners right now. They very probably will be able to help you out. Because after all, you're already partners. And what do partners do? They help each other out because you're already a team. Make good choices, my friends. Have a great day.